Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships and Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are back in the Bismarck. And we're back with Big B on our team. It's been a while. But uh, last night after me and Big B ran into each other a couple of games in a row, we decided it might be better for both of our sakes if we actually joined up for a little bit. And this is something neither of us do very often. Neither of us really team up very often. So uh, it's it's always interesting to, to join another awesome player and make no mistake, as I've said before, Big B is an awesome player. Anybody who's ever watched his streams can attest. The man just doesn't, he has, he's amazing. He just is. But uh, that being said, he is gonna be in the Friesland and I am in the Bismarck. And despite everything, we are going to have us a doozy of a match. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wish I was recording live comms for these, but uh, unfortunately I wasn't, because this one was hilarious. <laughs> Big B is about to have a real bad day in his uh, Friesland, but he's gonna do well in the end. It's just funny how everything starts out, but uh, the enemy is going to be absolutely ridiculous right at the beginning because they have two radar destroyers. Two. Now, initially we have the Sharn Horse spotted, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a little German on German violence going on, shooting at the Sharn Horse with auto aim over the top of the island, hoping for the best, but unfortunately for me, the Sharn Horse turns away, which means we end up missing. Now, if you'll notice, Right off our uh, one o'clock, the enemy destroyer is spotted by the planes coming into the zone. Uh, and we have a Friesland here, namely Big B. And then, of course, the Orkin gets himself actually spotted. And now he's in a world of trouble. He's inside my secondary range. I've got my sonar going just in case. And, of course, we also are going to... Look at those secondaries go yeet, man. When they want to, they can be nasty. And... Uh, yeah, between our secondaries, plus our primaries, plus the fact that he's being shot at by a Friesland and a Blizzy. And that's when I realized he's not actually being shot at by Big B at all. He's just being shot at by the, the Blizzy who decides to stop shooting at him to try to launch Torps instead of just shooting him. I don't understand it either. It's one of those fascinating mysteries. But uh, Big B, on the other hand, has been yeeting this USS Black. And uh, unfortunately, he is also about to get run over by another radar, which is the Constellation. Now, it's at this point, he's trying to stay alive. He's, he's in his smoke. He's trying not to get yeeted by the, uh, the carrier. But you can see he is taking quite a bit of damage. Now, we've gotten rid of two of their three destroyers. Losing a single destroyer in this situation to two of their destroyers is not a bad trade. We would take that any day of the week. But you'll notice that our Blizzy is also pretty low. Meaning at any moment we could lose two of our destroyers and that becomes a much worse situation. But now the enemy has lost all of their destroyers in the first two and a half minutes of the game. That is absurd and that is exactly why destroyer players need to start playing more smart. Stop being dumb. Plain and simple. You gotta balance your, your aggression, otherwise you are screwing your team, and this is a perfect example of that. Now, Big B can't sit around, because he knows that that carrier is coming. He knows that the constellation is here. So I am going to try to push up and take some of the heat away from Big B. As a battleship, who has heals, who has armor and health, it is my job to now move forward, putting myself in a position where the enemy has something to shoot at, right? Other than my destroyer. Now, we do get a good shot there on the Constellation. A little bit of damage, not too bad. We haven't really done a lot of damage. But we've managed to get rid of priority targets, and that has put the enemy in a very, very bad place. Now, you'll notice I start getting shot at by this little Rochester over here. I'm not gonna lie. There's a few of these oddball ships that catch me off guard that I just don't... I don't... I'm not that familiar with. I, I am very familiar with a lot of ships in the game, and by very familiar, I mean I play a lot of ships, and I play a lot of different classes, and so I have innate in knowledge about those ships when I'm fighting them. The Rochester is one of those that I don't. I've never played the ship, so I have no idea what it's capable of or anything. 
So it, there's a few ships out there that I run into occasionally, and I'm like, wait, does this thing have torps? Does it, I, I forget what the gimmick is. There's usually a gimmick when you get a uh, ship that goes and becomes something else. And I don't know. It's just one of those things. I, I, I always get thrown off when it comes to certain ships, and uh, Rochester's one of them. But uh, we get a shot at the Constellation. He's kind of playing cheekily here. We get angled away enough that we didn't really take any damage. I'm trying to get around the corner here to potentially look at the Rochester, see if we can't slap him. The carrier's coming. And the York is trying to be a little annoying turd waffle by shooting over the island. Now, we're able to pretty much guarantee that we're going to be uh, taking very little damage from anybody except the carrier. And this is one of those prime moments where I know that the carrier has the advantage in this situation. I can't afford to give up more hit points by trying to shoot or get shot by somebody else. And that's when the carrier gets spotted. And I'm like, uh, yeah, don't mind if I do. Let me go ahead and get a shot out there. And look, this is the best accuracy we've had all game long. I mean, look at that. I can't even argue with that, except they all shattered because Shokaku has armor. Right. <laughs> Dang it. There are, again, certain ships that catch me off guard. I did not expect to not do really any damage to that carrier there. There's a couple of those Japanese carriers that have armor, and they always catch me off guard. I apologize that I'm yawning like crazy right now, but I'm trying to get through this. But yeah, York comes around the corner. We've got the front guns perfectly ready for him, and we take him down easily. Uh, we're trying to push around the corner because we know that the Rochester's here. Big B's using the island to stay alive, and you can see he has no hit points left. Big B is in trouble. So we're trying to keep the enemy off balance by continuing to push using our aggression to keep them off balance and keep them away from shooting Big B so that he can continue to do what he does, and I can just farm these guys. Because this Rochester, as much as he thinks that he's getting away with, we do get the front guns around the islands. We're going to go ahead and take that. We didn't quite lead him enough with the front guns. Rear turrets, on the other hand, were absolutely gorgeous. And that goes to show that between the front and the rear turrets, you gotta you got to remember that your aiming points are different based on which guns are actually firing. So the front guns, I didn't lead enough. The rear guns were perfectly led. It's just how it works because the rear guns are further back. You didn't. You, it already has the lead built into it, right? Essentially. Now, this time... I mean, this guy is literally just broadside to us, so... There ain't no armor in the world gonna protect you, sunshine. As we clap him for three citadels right there. Only we were not a Bismarck and actually had citadel damage. <laughs> but the secondaries are doing their part, and we get our close quarters medal. Which is always fun in a Bismarck. We've put up 123,000 damage. We've pushed up, been aggressive. We've saved Big B. He's still alive. Constellation is absolutely begging for it as well. We do get spotted by the planes, but we don't get spotted by the Constellation. He can't see us. He's behind an island. So we have spotting, and he does not. He can't see me because of the planes, but I can see him. So we have all of the advantage here. Now, initially, he starts to turn away, and I was a little sad because I was like, dude, come on, I could get a little bit more damage. I'm only going to get one more shot. We have all of the caps, so this is it. This is all we got for all the marbles. The last shot we will ever get. Bonk. Pretty lackluster. But, at the end of the day, we did what we needed to do. It was a very quick game. I know this was a quick video for you guys. But this is what happens when you put two good players on the same team. Big B and I complimented each other in this match. And 139,000 damage and a complete raffle stomp for the enemy. He gets almost 3k base. I get almost 3k base. The next person gets 2,400 base. That is a solid team effort right there. So let me know what you guys think down in the below. Or, uh, down in below. <laughs> let me know if you guys enjoy these little team ups. It's not something I do very often, but it was a lot of fun. So if you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you in the next video.